Hey everyone, is there anything better than dipping your toes into the pool on a hot day? When your skin gets into that cool water, it can truly feel like bliss. And while all of that sounds pretty nice, there are some pretty extreme pools out in the world. So extreme, in fact, that they're downright scary. So put on your goggles and your swimsuit. Join me for today's video as we count down the top 15 most terrifying swimming pools. Number 15. The Red Pool at the Library Resort Thailand, home to delicious food, amazing people, and of course, beautiful beaches. But there are also so many resorts in the country that it can be pretty hard to pick just one. But depending on what type of stomach you have, there is one Thai resort known for its blood red pool. The library resort in Koh Samui, Thailand is a four and a half star beachfront paradise that's home to a scene straight out of a horror movie. And their blood red pool is enough to make the stomachs of even the most stalwart churn. There's no denying that this is a pretty freaky pool and plays on our rational fear of bodily fluids. But fear not, because despite how horrifying this habitat looks, it's not blood at all. That would be pretty crazy. The red pool at the library resort is nothing more than an optical illusion. The pool's water is actually crystal clear, but the creep factor comes from the combination of red, yellow, and orange tiles at the bottom of the pool. No food coloring, no red dye number two, just tiles. But even knowing that fact won't stop you from getting the heebie-jeebies when you look at it for the first time. Number 14. The Queen Mary's Haunted First Class Swimming Pool The old Queen Mary Ocean Liner, she's said to be one of the most haunted places in the world, which means that hundreds of thousands of ghost hunters and true believers come from far and wide to test the old grounds for themselves. While I'm sure that the place can be pretty spooky at times, there's one area in particular known for giving visitors a real fright, the pool. The Queen Mary's first class pool is said to be haunted by the souls of the people who drowned there, and some people have gone on to say that they've seen spectral beings moving about. And while there's no longer any water in the pool, the old swimmers can walk about on the pool's floor. But to make things even scarier, the most famous ghost here is a little girl named Jackie. Yeah, there's nothing scarier than the ghost of a little girl. The Ocean Liner's permanent home is in Long Beach, California, and the pool is one of the highlights of the Haunted Encounters Tour, where each tour guide will hum Twinkle Twinkle Little Star in hopes of summoning the young Jackie, whose cries can often be heard echoing through the cavernous space. As if that's not spooky enough, there are often reports of wet footprints around the empty pool's edges. Oh, that's creepy. Number 13. Swala Luxury Lounge The Swala Luxury Lounge in Tanzania, Africa is truly an experience like no other. The grounds are gorgeous, and they put you right in the heart of the African savanna. And no resort is complete, of course, without an awesome pool. And luckily, the Swala Lounge has just that. The pool here is outdoors, too. Really outdoors. This in-ground pool puts you right in the heart of the action, and there's absolutely nothing separating you from the animal-filled grasslands. It's not at all uncommon to see animals grazing nearby or sky-height termite nests just a few yards away. The thing about this pool is it offers a stunning one-of-a-kind experience, but it can also leave you shaking in your boots at times. So while nature lovers may flock to this watering hole, they had best prepare to rub shoulders with zebras, gazelles, and even elephants. This luxury infinity pool isn't all that far from the Swala's actual watering hole, where guests can count on seeing big cats coming to take a cool drink on a hot savanna day. Just hope that the animals don't get too hungry and develop a taste for tourists. Number 12. Golden Nugget in Vegas If you've ever spent some time in Viva Las Vegas, then you may have heard about the next entry on our list. The Golden Nugget Hotel and Casino is a big-time Vegas hotspot, where some fortunes are made, but most are lost. But they've also got a pretty cool pool there, too. And a pool would be the last place swimmers should fear sharks, right? Well, not here. Aside from human waders, the pool at the Golden Nugget is home to well over 300 different types of fish and 16 sharks. And while you may not actually be swimming with or from the sharks, you can still get pretty up close and personal, all from behind the safety of the glass. But rest assured that these potential predators have got their eye on you. The main event here at the Golden Nugget is what they call the tank. At the tank, swimmers slide down a 30-foot water slide through a 200,000-gallon shark tank aquarium. Once they splash down in the main pool, they can blissfully swim under faux waterfalls and peek into the aquarium from the shallow end. The tank's open to anyone, both guests and non-guests alike, and even kids are allowed to slide down past all of the hungry sharks. 
Number 11, Bondi Baths. The Bondi Iceberg Swimming Club is an Australian winter swimmers club located at the southern end of Bondi Beach in Sydney, New South Wales. The swimming club was established in 1929 and has a small museum on the first floor. A unique defining characteristic of the club is a rule that to maintain membership it was mandatory that swimmers compete on three Sundays out of four for a period of five years. But the pool here has more than one claim to fame, with the biggest one being one of the most beautiful pools on earth. But it also just happens to be one of the most ill-conceived aquatic attractions imaginable. The Bondi Baths is a swimming pool literally built in the ocean. That means their waves regularly come splashing over the sides and into the pool. It also means that regular chlorinated pool water is impossible to maintain in the baths. So it's filled with salt water, among other things, and achieving the perfect water temperature is near impossible. But to make matters even worse, there are even stories of sharks being tossed into the pool during high tide and becoming trapped. And a trapped animal is a scared animal, and a scared animal can often be a dangerous one. The Bondi Baths may be world famous, but it's probably not the most relaxing or idyllic way to spend a leisurely lazy afternoon. Number 10, Crocosaurus Cove. All right, now to foreigners, it can seem like just about everything in Australia is trying to kill you. So if you go into the water, sharks and box jellyfish are the least of your problems. If you go out into the bush, funneled web spiders and inland taipan snakes. So it would seem like the pool is the least scary place to be. Well, not at Crocosaurus Cove. Crocosaurus Cove in Australia is home to the world's largest display of Australian reptiles, including the country's own saltwater crocodile. And for the bravest of the brave, they offer something called the Cage of Death, where you can get face to face, or in this case, jaw to jaw with these giant crocs for about 15 minutes. They lower folks down into the water in this clear cage to see what it's like when a crocodile tries to chomp down on prey with three tons of bite force. And while the cage is the safest place to be in the pool, it still makes for an incredibly harrowing experience. There have been some instances where the cage breaks and visitors are trapped in there with the old croc. And while your first instinct should be to swim out of there like your life quite literally depends on it, that will only agitate the beast in the pool that are there with you. Best to just pray a staff member gets you in time. Yeah, no thanks. Number 9. Jacob's Well We can forget about the natural pools that form around the Earth, which is why we're going to Jacob's Well in Wimberley, Texas. Jacob's Well is located on an 82-acre preserve, and it's been enticing daredevils and thrill-seekers for decades. The well is part of a limestone cave system created by groundwater dissolving and washing away the porous limestone strata for thousands of years. The depth of the waters around Jacob's Well varies, but there is one spot in particular that's the perfect place to jump from the rocks. And don't worry, you'll know it when you see it, because the water goes from a nice clear blue to a deep dark blue. That's where you can jump into a 140-foot deep natural pool. And while Jacob's Well sees plenty of cliff jumpers enjoying the constant 68 degree Fahrenheit water, the area has also been visited by plenty of scuba divers who try to make sense of the underwater cave layout. Sadly though, some have died in an attempt to navigate that network, which has mostly deterred further exploration. Number 8. Devil's Pool Designers and companies go to great lengths to design and create some of the best pools in the world. But you have to remember that Mother Nature has thrown her hat into the mix as well, as there are plenty of natural pools for people to encounter. One of those pools is the Devil's Pool in Zambia, found right on the top of a waterfall where one false move will lead to your doom. It's a small natural pool formed by thousands and thousands of years of erosion. But then what exactly keeps brave swimmers and waders from falling over the edge? Well, luckily there's a nice lip made out of rock to keep you in place, which just also happens to create a pretty stellar natural infinity pool. Devil's Pool is about 15 feet deep, so if you don't know how to swim, then this may not be the one for you. And just how far is that drop to the rocks below? You're looking at a 330 foot freefall here. Yeah, that's pretty scary. Number seven, the Pool of Death. The Hawaiian Islands are well known for stunning tropical beaches with summer vibes. Despite all of that, there's a dangerous pool in Kauai, Hawaii, called the Pool of Death. This scary name explains the dangers of the location pretty well, but it hasn't been able to scare the risk-taking visitors away. The Pool of Death is a flooded cave on the coast made from volcanic rocks. The accelerated sea waves create beautiful waterfalls flowing into the pool. 
But the power and the force that a wave carries from time to time unexpectedly will catch people off guard. Lots of people die here while trying to jump down from the top of the 20-foot waterfall. They either drown in the pool or are hit by the rocks by the high force of the waves. Most people end up with chest injuries, rope burns, perforated eardrums, and sprained ankles. In addition, one teenage girl got paralyzed after swimming here. No locals have died here because they know how to swim against the forceful waves and how the waves fluctuate over time. Even with the great danger this place carries, its surroundings still make the place a popular destination. But remember, you swim here at your own risk. Number 6. Yulong Wave Pool Now, wave pools have become a popular attraction when it comes to water parks. They're a great way to get that beach experience without tracking sand into the house afterwards. But sometimes, wave pools don't work as planned, and things can get a little too dangerous. The wave pool in Yulong Park, North China, was a great spot to have fun, but things took a turn for the worse one day in July of 2019. The wave creator machine malfunctioned and created massive waves which would throw people into the air and dump them on the ground. Yeah, and so needless to say, the fun became a fright fest pretty quickly. People were screaming, drowning, and falling all over each other, with some people even drawing blood in the process. A total of 44 people were seriously injured by the artificial tsunami. Luckily, no one died. When something like this happens, people are going to demand answers. So, the rumors said that the giant wave at Yulong Park Pool was the mistake of a drunk machine operator. But the park blamed the malfunctioning machine on a sudden power cut. Everybody loves wave pools, but this is the kind of pool that most people would rather wave goodbye to. Number 5. Sky Habitat Swimmable Bridge The construction of Sky Habitat Towers was completed in Singapore in 2016. The Sky Bridge pool symbolically connects them on the 38th floor. Swimming in this ultra-high pool is a one-of-a-kind experience, but also comes at the cost of facing your fear of heights. Mose Safdi was the main architect of this large-scale complex where more than 500 luxury apartments are equipped in huge skyscrapers, offering panoramic views of the suburban Bishan district. The three bridges connect these spectacular skyscrapers, which essentially act as streets to get you from one building to the other. Or if it's an especially beautiful day, you can always just swim across. Make sure you don't look down, though. The pool itself is just smaller than Olympic size, making it the perfect place to do laps as you look down at the crowds below, all huddled together on their way to work. You just better hope there's not an earthquake while you're going for a dip. Then the folks below will see who's laughing then. Number 4. Hotel Hubertus Known as the Sky Pool, this gorgeous yet scary pool can be found in four-star hotel Hubertus in Italy. But you might be asking yourself, how can something this pristine and serene also be scary? Well, this infinity pool floats right above the mountains. So forget about drowning, because your biggest concern here is going to be not falling over the edge. Sure, you got spectacular views of Italy's Dolomite mountain range, but at what cost? At 25 meters long, this sky pool is about half the size of an Olympic pool, which makes you wonder if this floating pool were any longer, would it just fall off the edge of the cliff? Yeah, that's not something anyone wants to find out. Luckily, though, for both the hotel and the patrons looking to get away from it all, there have never been any reported accidents here, and swimmers have all lived to tell the tale, even those who have swam right out to the edge to get an up-close and personal view of the mountain range. And while there is a chest-level protective glass barrier, it wouldn't take much for someone to pop right over the edge. Number 3. Nemo 33 We have officially entered the big leagues, all 20,000 leagues of it. Not far from Brussels in Belgium is a good and deep pool that bears the name of the Jules Verne character Nemo 33. This deep diving pool was once the deepest pool in the world at 113 feet, but Nemo 33 lost that title to another pool that's just bound to show up here later on. But instead of just being one massive pool, Nemo 33 is divided into five separate diving areas for different levels of swimmers and divers. There's a place where beginners can skin their teeth, so to speak, somewhere for the most experienced divers to test their mettle, and spots for everyone else in between. The diversity of these different diving pits makes this one of the most attractive diving pools in all of Europe. And if you don't dive then, that's okay too, because all visitors are welcome to walk through the underwater tunnel and wave hello to the divers and the mermaids. The water at Nemo 33 is coming through underground aquifers, so it's always at an excellent quality level, and the water's kept at a warm 91 degrees Fahrenheit via the solar collectors and heat recovery systems. And luckily, Nemo 33 isn't too hard to find. 
But what may be tough to find here is your courage, because being in a pool this vast and deep is not for the faint of heart, which is probably why everyone headed beneath the surface is required to sign a waiver. Number 2. Sky Tower, Peru The next entry on our list is as terrifying as it is insane. In fact, it's enough to want to make you push the designers into their very own pool. Construction of the Sky Towers in Lima, Peru is already underway, and finding new residents has been pretty easy on the developers. The 20-story building will rise high above the city with wonderful views of a local golf course and exterior patios provide plenty of green and gardening spaces for the residents to enjoy. But there's one feature of the Sky Tower that quite literally stands out from the rest, the swimming pools. As you can see, Peru's Sky Tower has multiple concrete swimming pools jutting out from the building's facade and overlapping one another. While it may seem like a fun idea on paper, looking down from the edge is enough to make even the bravest adventurers lose their lunch, and maybe even some young daredevil could drop down from one pool to the next. Honestly, the Sky Tower's pools seem like both a legal and a logistical nightmare. Well, if you're looking to relax and enjoy yourself in one of these hanging Peruvian pools, then you'd better not be afraid of heights. And don't forget about the fact that Peru sits on the Pacific Ring of Fire, meaning earthquakes are big and happen often. Just imagine it being one of these pools 20 stories off the ground only for a 4.0 earthquake to hit. Yeah, that water will quickly turn into waves and take you over the side with them. Number 1. Embassy Garden Sky Pool I'd tell you not to look down while you're swimming in the most terrifying pool on our list, but it's been designed to make you do just that. The Sky Pool is a swimming pool at the Embassy Gardens development in the Nine Elms region of Wandsworth, a borough of southwest London. It's suspended an absurd 115 feet above the ground and forms a bridge between two tall apartment buildings. Extending between the two legacy buildings of the Embassy Gardens development, the pool is fully heated, and not just because it's so close to the sun. But it's in the middle 45-foot section of the pool that it's actually suspended, so if heights aren't really your thing, then you can just stick to the sides. But the story of the Sky Pool's conception is an interesting one, too. The designers originally wanted the pool on the roof, but the roof area wasn't quite large enough to accommodate it, and so the concept of the floating pool was developed. The suspended design of the pool is considered essential to preserve its large size without losing any additional floor space on the roof of the building. Architectural Digest wrote that the pool is believed to be the world's largest single piece of load-bearing acrylic, which is pretty amazing in its own right. The sturdy acrylic frame weighs a total of 50 tons and is 8 inches thick with a 12-inch thick base, and it's nearly 10 feet deep, resting on an invisible steel frame. So while swimmers are in good hands, the sheer transparency of the pool is pretty horrifying. The structure that forms the pool was prefabricated in the United States, in Colorado by acrylic engineers Reynolds Polymer Incorporated, and shipped from Texas in a three-week journey. It was designed by the structural engineers Eckersley O'Callaghan and HAL Architects, but when it finally finished, the pool opened to residents of Embassy Gardens on May 19, 2021. The opening ceremony was hosted by broadcaster Roman Kemp and featured a performance by Aquabatics, a synchronized swimming team. Watch our Waves playlist for more top 15 videos about massive waves. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best wave videos.